Well, hundreds of people are dead after an explosion at a hospital in Gaza. Hamas is blaming an Israeli airstrike, which Israel is denying any involvement in, saying it was caused by a misfired Palestinian rocket. The Hamas-run health ministry in Gaza says an Israeli airstrike caused the blast and that it killed some 500 people, many of whom had sought shelter from the ongoing Israeli offensive. The Israeli military, however, said Palestinian militants had fired a barrage of rockets near the hospital at the time. This all comes as President Biden is set to travel to Israel. Alyssa Hefner spoke to a political science expert and is live now with the details. Alyssa. Courtney, Dave, President Joe Biden will be headed to Israel tomorrow to show Israel that we are in support and an ally. However, a political science expert here at ECU says that that trip could be dangerous. While in Israel, the president will get a briefing of Israel's war strategies, according to the U.S. State Secretary. The president believes that this is exactly the right time uh, to go to Israel and to go to Jordan to, to, to speak to other leaders in the region uh, about the humanitarian assistance that we want to make sure gets into Gaza, about uh, Israeli plans and intentions going forward. But a political science expert says the trip could be a great risk. There's a possibility that uh, uh, he can, Biden will come under fire. And this would be incredibly dangerous. Yeah, I mean, he's going to be in the middle of a war zone. But nonetheless, Biden is looking to achieve two main goals. He wants to shore up his alliance with Israel. Right now, Israel is under attack. Um, and Iran has become more vocal about its support of Hamas and Hezbollah. So uh, the United States has to assure its ally, Israel, that uh, there will be support, there will be um, assistance. The second thing is, in light of all the refugees in Gaza, um, the, uh, Biden will also be going to Jordan to discuss uh, the refugee, uh, taking refugees, and also in, in Jordan and in Egypt. While Israel is looking to completely destroy Hamas, Kassab says that will be quite a difficult task. I assume that it's gonna be a very difficult and dangerous task and Israeli soldiers will have to face um, great difficulty, which could be in the form of heavy fire, booby traps. Especially with Gaza having tunnels throughout their city, which Kassab says may only help Hamas. The tunnels can be used to uh, get resources from outside, and so resupply is, is made much easier with the tunnels. I did reach out to several mosques here in ENC and the Muslim American Society regarding their perspective. However, I did not hear back. Reporting live in Greenville, Alyssa Hafner, WITN News. All right, thanks, Alyssa. And Blinken also announced the U.S. and Israel have agreed to come up with a plan to enable international humanitarian aid to reach civilians in Gaza, which is also why Biden will be headed to Jordan following the Israeli trip.